How are you lovely people doing today? My name is John. Welcome to another beautiful episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. In this series, I take your questions about the zombie storyline and I answer them. Whether it's a big, a small, or a simple question, I'm more than happy to answer it. So go ahead, leave your questions down below. Maybe I'll see it and maybe I'll answer it. You may even be in the next episode. If you want, there are two ways to submit your questions. The first way is to leave them down in the comments below. I go through all of the comments and I guarantee your question will get seen. Another thing you can do is tweet me with them at JohnnyJ25. I'm always on Twitter and it's one of the best ways to get in touch with me. Now before we begin the episode, I'd like to make a quick announcement. Tomorrow, Sunday, starting at 1 o'clock, I am going to be doing a charity live stream extravaganza. We'll be streaming for 12, possibly 24 hours. Now what we're doing is we're raising money for NAMI, the National Alliance on Mental Illnesses. And this is a celebration stream because we recently hit 55,000 subs on the channel, the next number in the sequence. So this will be a fun event. Some of your favorite YouTubers are hopefully going to be stopping by. We're going to have some cool events planned in the stream. In addition to that, there's also going to be an Indiegogo you guys can donate to and get what I think are some pretty cool perks. So if you'd like to check that out, the stream will be starting tomorrow, Sunday at 1 o'clock. So be sure you're there. It's going to be a blast. Without further ado, though, let's begin with today's episode. We're going to kick things off with a question from Reckless Era, who asks, What does Takio mean when he says, You must awaken the test subjects? Well, he's referring to this moment here in the giant intro cutscene. And Takio says to Richtofen, You must awaken the test subjects. And we believe he is referring to the World War II versions of themselves. So the World War II Takio, Tank, and Nikolai. They are the test subjects. The thing is, the test subjects are in Shinonuma. They're not actually at the Dereez facility. So that does present a little bit of a problem in how he expects them to wake them up. But the thing is, and I think what a lot of people are overlooking, is that our, four, our three characters want the test subjects awakened. When the door opens, Richtofen steps out and he shoots his future self. Well, that wasn't a part of the plan. They didn't know he was going to do that. So they are under the assumption that they're waking up the test subjects. Meanwhile, Richtofen has a plan of his own. Richtofen, is, he shot himself and he didn't tell the other crew that he was going to do that. He said everything he's doing, he's doing for a reason to ensure a better tomorrow. So. What he's doing is probably for the good of humanity. We just don't exactly know what that is. And whether or not we're going to be actually awakening the test subjects is kind of a mystery right now. I mean, if we wanted to awaken the test subjects, we can't exactly do that at the Dereez facility. They need to go elsewhere. So I'm not entirely sure whether or not Richtofen wants to awaken the test subjects themselves too. And what they want to do with the test subjects is hard to say as well because with Richtofen dead, that does change a lot of the dynamics in the storyline and how things can progress. Richtofen has been spearheading the entire story, but with him out of the way, that changes everything. And history can easily be rewritten in a thousand different ways. So, what exactly does he mean when he says you must awaken the test subjects? It's hard to say for sure. Quite possibly our three characters expect to meet them their future selves and quite possibly Richtofen has the same idea But in addition to that we also know Richtofen has something cooking in the back of his mind that he's not telling other people So I don't really know it's hard to say for sure But it could very well be that we do awaken the test subjects and that could be part of the Easter egg and then by awakening the test subjects, we do something to either lead on to the next map or actually close out the story. It's hard to say for sure. I mean, this game is still several months away. Everything I say is purely speculation based on the information we have now. And it's I really don't want to say something definitive and end up being wrong or propagating misinformation. But that's what we know at the moment, at least. Moving on, we have a question from Shadow Cat who asks, What happened to the other storyline? Well, I assume you're referring to this storyline that runs from World War II up until Barry, in which the actions of Richtofen result in Samantha being trapped in the pyramid and then a zombie apocalypse that ultimately ends with either Richtofen or Maxis assuming complete control over the world. Well, that story has a beginning and an end, and the ending isn't too friendly towards humanity. At the end, we're pretty much enslaved to whichever person takes total control, so everything is sort of a bad ending. History does not go well. Well, that story's wrapped up, and now it's going to be rewritten, most likely, by our new characters, our Origins characters. So, in Origins, our characters do that Easter egg, and somehow they end up at the Giant. We're not exactly sure how, hopefully that question is answered once we play the map. But they end up at the Giant, and Richtofen shoots 
his World War II self. And what he's attempting to do is rewrite history and make the world a better place. We can assume that Rick Toppin's intentions are fairly pure and fairly good. I mean, look at the look on his face when he sees his future World War II self. He looks disgusted. He is not happy with himself. And if you listen to his quotes in Origins, as my buddy Rad Austin pointed out, he really does seem like he's a genuine guy. So he's now trying to rewrite this storyline. So the story had a beginning and an end. And now what it's going to do is basically be taken in a whole new direction. So if you can imagine it like a linear line, that line is complete. It has a beginning and an end. And now it's going to be bent and turned and twisted to hopefully take them to a new place. So that's what's going on with the storyline right now. And then we have Shadows of Evil, which at the moment we can assume will be a separate independent story just in the same vein as Mob of the Dead, although there's probably going to be some kind of connection and tie that sort of connects everything together. But at the end of the day, the story, the other story that you refer to, is pretty much done, and now we're going to see a new spin on this story. That's going to wrap things up for this week's episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A, though. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give the video a like and maybe subscribe. I upload multiple episodes of the Zombie Storyline Q&A every week, and if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll love the next one. Like I said, you can leave your questions down below, or you can tweet me at JohnnyJ25. And just a reminder, I am going to be doing my live stream charity extravaganza tomorrow to celebrate hitting 55,000 subs starting Sunday, 1 o'clock. Make sure that you're there. It's going to be a blast. There's going to be plenty of Indiegogo perks that you guys can donate to. And in addition to that, we're also going to have some pretty sweet events planned within the stream. So make sure you're there. It's going to be a great time. Anyway, I'm going to go. Have a wonderful day. And... Bye.